Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial of OpenCV by Inside AML. In this video, we are going to do the blur. We are going to use the function blur, which is like averaging blur is there, Gaussian blur is there, median blur is there by OpenCV. And we would be blurring the picture. So before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel of Inside AML, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss a single content on artificial intelligence. My name is Amani India Instructor at Inside AML. Let's get started. As usual, we will navigate through Anaconda. We will go to Anaconda and open our Jupyter Notebook OpenCV environment. This is an environment we have made in our first lecture. So if you are totally new to this video, please watch the playlist of this whole OpenCV. Now we have made our folder on desktop. We have made our folder OpenCV. And in this video, we would be doing that Gaussian blur and like whole blur of OpenCV. So I have made this open blur uh, file. You can go to simply new and make your own file of Python 3. Let's start this open blur. So in the last video, we were dealing with edge detection. We was using canny function to detect the edge of a, of a person, of a picture, of a direct uh, camera, you can say. So we were dealing with pictures also, and we were dealing with direct capturing using video capture function of OpenCV like in real time uh, object capturing and detecting the edge of that object, okay? So now we would be dealing with OpenCV blur functions, okay? So OpenCV have three type of blur function. First is averaging blur, second is median blur, and third is Gaussian blur. What is averaging blur? Averaging blur is a function that actually takes the average of a whole pixels we have given and try to make an average of that pixel and then only it's going to work on blurring the image bytes. After that, there's a median blur. This median blur actually takes the median of a whole pixels and then work on that. Gaussian blur is a bit different. So we'll be covering that. And uh, I believe in coding because if we go for code, then it would be much easier to understand. So let's directly jump to coding and perform the task. First, we would be using averaging. That is cv2.blur function. So let's start with that. Import cv2. It would be imprt. After that, we will take our input in image using amrit function. Then we will pass our parameters. So what are the parameters in that? We will pass our image Mona Lisa dot jpg. It's png, and we will pass our a value uh, like uh, in which color we want we want in grayscale we want in normal so we will put one as a default and then we are going to have it uh, our function cv2.blur function cv2.blur and what are the parameters it first take image and after that it takes k size kernel size okay so what is kernel size so kernel size is simply means that what are the size what are the particular size of that particular pixel okay like it means that how many pixels you're gonna capture like a particular area you can see so it's more of a kernel area let's directly implement that and let's see that what is actually happening with that okay that would be more good so mg and in that will pass 3 comma 3 okay so so it won't be mg it would be direct uh this img comma 3 comma 3 and this is a kernel size and all these are exceptional. We had already talked about making a border type in our earlier videos. So do watch that. There are, the various, there are various function, there are various code for that. Like uh, default is there for making a black border. Reflect is there for making a reflecting border. So all are there, okay? So now it's time to see that. So we we'll uh, we would be visualizing it using AMSO function of CV2, where we would be passing our tab name Mona. And we would be putting our parameters that uh, thing we have made. So we have to save this in some in some variable name as blur because we have to show that, right? So we will put blur over here. And now we will put our weight key cv2 dot weight key. It would be capital always keep in mind. Let's put zero. If key is equal to we have we are making our trigger trigger means uh, ASCII value the value of Q is 81 
so if someone's press that Q then the program will exit at that same moment so we are making that and now it's ready let's test that using our uh, shift plus enter just click that and it will run so over here you can see that blood okay so this is a minimal blood like not that much blood is here if you remember the picture of Mona Lisa then let's try to more blur it okay so just press Q it will exit at that same moment let's put 5 and 6 okay and let's run this it would be key over here key equal to okay so let's run this uh, now you can see that there is a more blur in the picture of Mona Lisa so this is how you would be dealing with the uh, averaging function that uh, cv2 dot blur function of OpenCV. Now it's time to go for a median blur. Okay, so median blur is actually dealing with the same. Okay, so I have written the whole code. What you have to do, you have to change the median. Okay, so you just have to change the median over here. Let's do it again for you. Okay, so we will put import cv2. Again, we will take our input as a amrit function and that is cv2 function cv2 dot amrit and in that we will pass our parameter what are the parameters we will passing you will be passing this parameter so let's copy this from here and paste it over here and uh, yeah so median functions does the median of a whole pixels and shows the value then perform the task on that so this is that function so let's copy this function over here and put it over here so what is the value we have to put we have to put the source what is source mg is the source what is the destination so we didn't have to go with that just leave it there's no issue of that and directly put five okay so over here we didn't need two values we just need one value that would be five so it directly depends on the intensity how much deep it's going to uh, nourish that picture now we're gonna need in that uh, some variable blur we will put it that and we will show that using this function so just copy that from here that uh, we are going that we are going to use amso function and cv2.amso function and it actually copy that whole thing that actually shows the data into your screen and it's time to run this okay so let's run this using control uh, shift plus enter now you can see that uh, now again you can see that there's a uh, blur on that picture okay so there's a various way to do that and each have some different uh, working style like uh, that blur function uh, median function median blur and gaussian also okay so in the case of gaussian also there is the same thing so if you want to put the border also so i talk about these are the code for that these are some code like border constant replicator reflect wrap reflect transparent so these are the codes to make a border on the picture so let's do that just remove this let's run this from here okay so let's copy the data from here and we were just dealing with you would be just changing the gaussian one okay so we would be changing the gaussian one just remove this from here and put this over here okay so this is the function So just put it over here and we didn't need it this much and we truly, truly didn't need it this much of data okay this is exceptional if you want to work like really deep into that then only you are needed that okay so we'll put IMG and we would be dealing with a Gaussian blur okay so what is the function what is the thing we would be putting now we would be putting the value of a we would be putting the value of k size okay so what is the kernel size so height and width we would be putting so let's put to be 3 and 5 okay we would be checking that and we also would be making the border so the border would be let's make a constant border cv2 dot border okay so this is optional there's no need of that there's no particular need of that so there's no issue with that and now let's run this okay so now you can see the blur of it and this is not that like different from that this is as simple as that so this is the use of Gaussian blur. Okay, so what is the main use of blur? What we use blur for? So mostly we use blur for uh, smoothing the image, working with the intensity to reducing the impact of intensity and the sharpness we work with. So remove the noise. So you can actually make your own filter using that. 
So in next video, we would be dealing with filters also. So we would be enhancing the image using filters provided by OpenCV. So see you in the next video. And if you have any query, then please put down the query into comment box. We would love to hear you and solve your problems also. So see you in the next video.